Hello everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to Scentsy Saturday. You guys, I feel like it has been a hot minute since we have done a what has Melissa been smelling? I have a bucket full of things. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. So some of these are from a while ago. You'll notice there's some spring and summer scents in here. I've since transitioned over to fall scents and I'm loving it because it's my favorite season. Um, so let's go through this real quick and see what I got through in the last little while. Okay. Um, you guys, most of these are in my club. Most of them, most of these I love. Uh, Mahalo coconut. This is such a good scent. It's so good. Mm, it's so good. I was warming this in the bathroom. It's just, it's like a tropical coconutty fresh. It's so good. It's so good. Mahalo coconut. Now, a lot of these you cannot get right now and you might not be able to get again. So I apologize if any of these sound amazing to you and they're unavailable. Banana berry. This one, my husband and daughter really like it. It's literally what it says. It's banana and berry. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a really nice scent. Is it something that I feel I need to keep in my club? No, I don't think so. Um, but they love it. So I've left it in there because they really like it. So got through that. Um, I got through, I did a couple samples. I still have a few samples in here, but I did a tinsel berry, a perfect day and a sips of cider. They were all nice. They're more kind of fall kind of, you know, fall winter scents. They were good. Um, perk me up. This one is a coffee scent. It's good. Like if you like the smell of coffee, perk me up is quite lovely. It's coffee, but it's not that bitter coffee. It's got a touch. Um, it almost has a touch of like chocolate to it. Like it's just a kind of a sweet coffee. It's really nice. Perk me up. It's really, really good. I love the smell of coffee. I love it. It's just, I don't know. Um, maraschino sugar cookie, you guys, I'm a fan. This was a scent of the month. It's so good. Oh, maraschino sugar cookie. It is so good. If you can get your hands on it, try it. It's awesome. Speaking of awesome, almond croissant is amazing. It's so good. This has, this used to be a bestseller. It has not been in the catalog for quite some time. And I feel so bad for those people who do not have almond croissant. It is so good. It is so good. Oh my God. It's so good. It's so good. I'm so glad this is in my club. It will stay in my club. It is everything you want in a scent. It's warm, it's comforting, it's bakery, it's sweet. Like, it's so good, you guys. Cutie Pie Cupcake is another bakery scent. Now, this one you could argue is kind of more spring-summer bakery because it's fresh citrusy. It's not something I normally um, melt in the fall and winter, but it's so good. Cutie Pie Cupcake, I love, love, love it. Um, Mad for Melon. I was a big fan of this. I still like it, but I'm going to take it out of my club. It's good. It, it is, oh, you guys, it is good. It's a nice, strong scent too. I like a nice, strong scent. I don't want something that's light and wimpy. No, no. Give me something that's going to smack me in the face. You know what I mean? It's good, but there's other things I like better. So Mad for Melon, unfortunately, got cut from my club. Sorry to say. Now this one, I did not get through a full bar. I only tried two cubes of it. This was Tropic Nectar. It's good. It's nice. It's, it's fruity. It's sweet. Not quite club worthy for me, but it is a nice scent. There's nothing wrong with it. 
Um, palm trees and ocean breeze. This is another one I like to do in the bathroom as a bathroom scent. It's really good too. I don't know if I have one in here or not, but I'm torn between palm trees, ocean breeze and, um, blue agave. What is it? Blue agave. And I can't remember what it's called. They're very similar. And I'm not sure if I'm keeping both in my club, one in my club or neither in my club. I got to make some decisions on this club. You guys, like it is out of control. The next time they do a new catalog and there's a scent switch over, we got to seriously look at our club and make some hard choices because it's out of control. Raspberry hibiscus tea. This one was okay. I mean, the raspberry is pretty strong, which I like. It's pretty. Did not make my club, but it's pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much in here. Um, Cran Apple Crumble. I really thought I was going to like this one. I really thought. Now, don't get me wrong. It's nice. But I don't have room for nice in my club. You know what I mean? It's fine. It's fine. Cran apple crumble. Just not club worthy for me. Uh, red pear and pomegranate is club worthy for me. It's such a good scent. Like, I can't describe this one. It's fresh, fruity, yet warm at the same time. It's really nice. It's really nice. It is in my club, red pear and pomegranate. Um, I don't know if it's going to, like, I don't know how long it'll stay in my club based on new scents coming out, but it is nice. Sea salt avocado. I have said this before. I was a purchaser of Scentsy for years before I tried sea salt avocado. I passed over this one time and time again, strictly because of the name. Sea salt, avocado. I'm not a fan of either. And then I got something from Scentsy in this scent. It came in a whiff box or it was a gift. I can't remember. You guys, game changer. Like, oh, it's so good. It does not smell the way you think it would smell. It's good. This is in my club now. I love this scent. It's a medium scent. It's just, there's something about it that is so good. So I'm telling you, don't judge a scent based strictly on the name. And even sometimes on the description, because sometimes there's a scent that I will love. And if I'm reading the description, I'm like, oh, I'll never like that. No, no, it has happened where you fall in love with a scent, which smells completely opposite of what you think it's going to smell like. So make sure if you get a chance before you pass judgment on bars, <clears throat> I know it can be hard just looking through a catalog or looking online. If you can get your hands on testers of these scents to actually see what they smell like, I highly recommend you do that. Um, if you're wondering how to do that, you need to have a good consultant. If you have a good consultant, who is willing to loan you their testers because they have testers for every single scent that's in the catalog and even some testers on discontinued or past scents they probably still have so check with your consultant if you don't have a consultant find one i am not a consultant i am only a shopper um but sea salt and avocado you guys like surprising surprising um Pink Apple and Nectarine. This was the scent of the month. I thought I would love it. I don't. It almost has a perfumey scent. And I'm not a fan of floral perfume. Pink Apple and Nectarine. Um, did not enjoy it. Um, here's, this is a full bar. We didn't do that one. Um, here's Tangerine and Sugarcane. This I think was like either a scent of the month or like in a bundle or something. I didn't enjoy this one either. And it's funny, tangerine scents, like I like citrus, I like orange. 
But I've tried a couple tangerine scents lately and I don't like them. Like there was, um, was it tangerine creamsicle? I thought I would love it. It's too light. So tangerine and sugar cane, I'm sorry, but it did not, did not pass the test for me. Um, the last one was pink berry fluff. I didn't like this one either. Again, it's got like a perfumey floral kind of, mm, no, it's just not for me. Pink berry fluff. Sorry. No. Um, and I don't know if you, do you guys see that? Like, I don't know if it's just me, but there is, they seem crumbly. A lot of the bars I've been getting recently, like they've got lots of extra wax in the clamshell after I take out my cubes. They never used to be this bad. I don't know if they've like changed the formula of their wax or maybe one of the ingredients they had to change or something, but they're definitely more crumbly. Have you guys noticed that? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, but that's it. That's what we got through. So this has been a long time coming. Um, I've had a few hiccups and issues on why I haven't changed up my Scentsy bars as much as I'd like to. Um, I'm trying to get back on track with that. I'm trying to get more consistent with these What's Melissa Been Smelling videos so you guys uh, know what I've been going through. Um, but let me know. Fall is here. Winter's here. What have you guys been smelling? What is one of your favorites? Is there a new one that came out in the catalog that you absolutely love? I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, I myself was not overly impressed with the new catalog, which my wallet is thankful for, but let me know your thoughts. Of course, I love talking with you guys and I appreciate all the support you give me. So thank you for watching these videos and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.